Image detection is good for augmenting content and can be used in most cases. But there could be cases where you want to see the augmented object from different angles. In such cases, after a certain angle, the image is no longer seen and hence it's no longer tracked and you'll not be able to see the augmented content. So to fix this issue, Vuforia has a feature called as multi-targets, which allows us to use multiple images to form a geometric shape like a box, allowing us to track the image from different angles. So in today's video, I'll show you how to create these multi-targets and build an AR application using Vuforia's SDK. Alright then, let's get started. So here I have my Unity project open which has been set up with the latest version of Vuforia SDK and it has been set up with the app license key. We have covered these steps in detail in a previous video which you can check out over here. Now to set up our scene you can select the main camera and delete it. Then right click on your hierarchy, navigate inside Vuforia engine and add AR camera. Now this has the camera component and the Vuforia behavior script which takes care of augmenting your objects. Now to add the multi image target. Right click on your hierarchy once again, navigate inside Vuforia engine and add multi-target. Now you will get a pop-up asking if you want to import the default database. Since we have not created our own, let's import it for now. Once it's done importing, you'll see that it has a multi-target called as Mars box. And to access this image, you can navigate inside assets, editor, Vuforia, for print, multi-targets and here you'll be able to find the PDF. You can open this PDF and print this image on a piece of paper, cut it and fold it to form a box. Now if you have a look at the multi-target game object, you'll see that it has the multi-target behavior and the default observer event handler. And if we have a look at the script, you'll see that when the image is tracked or when the tracking is lost, it's going to get the child components like the renderer, collider, canvas and other runtime mesh behaviors and enable or disable them accordingly. So going back to Unity, we can add any augmented content as a child of multi-target. So for this demo, we can go inside sample resources, augmentation assets, models, select the astronaut model and drag and drop it as a child of multi-target. We can scale this model down to 0.125 in all the direction and move it slightly up here like this. Then we can add an animation controller by clicking on the circle button and selecting astronaut. Then open the child object, select the first two components and here we want to change the material to astronaut. And that's about it. Now we can test this from the unity editor itself. Now to make sure that you have the right setup, navigate inside asset resources select Vuforia configuration and scroll down. Here in the play mode settings, make sure that the play mode type is selected to webcam and you have chosen the right camera device. Then you can save your scene and press play. Now when I bring the box in front of the camera, the image is tracked and the augmented object is spawned. Now since it's tracked from all the directions, we don't lose tracking even when the viewing angle is changed. Okay, now I'll show you how you can create your own multi-image database. You have full freedom to choose any image of your choice and you have freedom to choose the size of your box as well. But before that, you need to check out this document from Vuforia that talks about how you can choose the right image so that it's tracked easily. And this other document that talks about the design criteria of your box. To summarize these two documents, you need to use images that are rich in detail, good in contrast and does not have any repetitive pattern. And for the box, you need to make sure that the images are of the right aspect ratio. I'll show you what this means in a bit. Now to create the target database, you need to visit developer.vuforia.com and log into your account. Then navigate inside target manager, click on generate database, give your database a name. You can select the type as device and click on generate. Then Select the database that you just created and click on add targets and select the type as multi. Now in my case, I wanted to use this existing box that I have and so I measured it. And then I want my box to be oriented in this way. So with reference to the documentation, the width is going to be 0.25. The height is going to be 0.1 and the length is going to be 0.35 and all these dimensions are in meters. Then you can give a unique name to your target and click on add. Next click on the database that you just created and here we need to upload the images for front, top, left, right, back and bottom. 
So for this, I captured the images of the box as accurately as possible, then went to this website I found online, uploaded my pictures and edited it to the right aspect ratio. To give you an example, the front image has a width of 0.25 and a height of 0.1. So the aspect ratio will be 0.25 is to 0.1. For the left and right side, the aspect ratio will be 0.1 is to 0.35 and so on. And then once that's done, you can click on each of the side and upload the respective image. Once you have all the images uploaded, you can click on each of the image and check how good it is in Augmentable. You can also click on show features to show you the features point. Better the star rating, better will be your image tracking. And then you can go back to your database and download it. Make sure to select Unity Editor and click on Download. Now back here in Unity, you can select the database that you downloaded and drag and drop it inside the project window and import it. Once that's done, you can select the multi-target game object and from the database drop down, you can select the database that you just imported. Now this will automatically select the multi-target as box which we created a while back. Now for this image target, I want to have a different augmented object. So I'm going to delete this and I've gone ahead and downloaded this amazing asset created by this designer and import it inside my models folder. And just like before, I can select the model and drag and drop it as a child of multi-target. Now all that's left to do is to reposition this and resize it. Also, I noticed that this model does not have an animator component and so the animation is not going to play. I'm going to take a minute to create the animation controller, add the animation and assign it to this model. And that's it. Now there are two more things that you could add. One is the occlusion object and the other is target representation. To understand this better, we'll first build this scene and test it on our device. So make sure to connect your device, it could be Android or iOS, then navigate inside build settings, select the appropriate platform and click on build and run. Give your file a name and click on save. The app has been successfully built onto my device as you can see here and this looks super realistic. I wish this was true but I was just messing around. Anyway, once the entire image is tracked, the augmented model is spawned and it remains being tracked even when viewed from different angles. However, if you view it from the bottom, it's still tracked but then it looks a bit off. And that's because you would expect the box to occlude the augmented object. And to fix this issue, inside Unity, select the multi-target object and here you can click on add occlusion object. Now this adds a mesh for each of the sides with the depth mask material to it. And now when you build and test this, you will see that the box occludes the augmented object making this experience look a bit more realistic. Now if you want, you can even overlay the images that you added on top of this box when it gets tracked. To do that, you can click on add target representation. And now when you test your scene, you will be able to see the image targets overlaid on top of your box. And that's it for this video. In the next one, I'll show you how to create cylindrical targets so that you can place augmented models on curved surfaces like cans or bottles. So make sure to stay subscribed and I will see you in the next one.